So one follow-up on that. One of the many, many things that keeps me up at night. Um, if, the, if the Democrats take the Senate, if we should be so fortunate in 2018, and we get to the place where there is a Supreme Court vacancy. Yes. If it's Ginsburg, if it's Kennedy, if it's, it's someone on the court. Um, Democrats at that point yeah. Yeah. have the power yep. to make sure we don't get another Gorsuch. Mm -hmm. But to use that power, it may look like what Mitch McConnell did and holding that seat open for Gorsuch and making sure that Garland did, didn't get in. Do you think the Democrats, if faced with a nominee like Gorsuch, when they're in control in the Senate, will hold the seat open or will block a nominee like that? So let me reframe this just slightly. Mm -hmm. in, in thinking about it this way, this is how I think about it. We had the filibuster for a very long time, but it was very rarely used. And the reason was because knowing that there was a filibuster meant you had to kind of keep those folks within a certain range. Mm -hmm. I get it. The people that George W. Bush would put in wouldn't be exactly the same as the people that Barack Obama would put in, but they'd be, they'd be along the same road, right? They'd be somewhere in that close in. Merrick Garland. Look, Merrick Garland is the kind of man who could have been nominated by a Republican or a Democrat. And decades and decades and decades in our past would have been, would have been that kind of guy. And what's changed, first with the loss of the filibuster, and can we also talk blue slips or will that just make us sound so wonky that everybody will say, <laughs> right, it'll cause people to dial out. Not chamber. this crowd, not where we're sitting, right? Okay. Anyway, there's some Senate minutia. Mm -hmm. It's very frustrating. It was turned against us. Yeah, yeah, there you go. But, the, but that the bottom line is all of that was there but rarely used because it was a way to get us to come together and not politicize the judiciary, not get people who'd said things that just are disqualifying on its face, and not get people who come in with strong ideological bents or already beholden to someone. You know, the big problem, you, you just mentioned actually in the Supreme Court, you specifically went to the most recent decision that just said, sure, employers can require you to sign an arbitration clause. And to some folks, that may sound like, okay, so what's the big deal? Arbitration sounds cheaper than going to court. Huh, yeah, except who picks the arbitrator? And if you get cheated, if you get harassed, if you get discriminated against, and you're told, go to our bought and paid for arbitrator, that's a bit of a problem. It's a bit of a problem because it takes legal rights that you are entitled to and says, you no longer have redress in an American court. Yes, you're an American citizen. Yes, your rights were violated. But sorry, way back at the beginning of this employment relationship, before you knew who that guy was that you were working for or what this company was going to do, you signed, and somewhere there in paragraph 39 in technical legalese, you just said, I don't care what you do to me. I'm never going to have the right to take you to court. And I'm not going to have the right to join with other people who were discriminated against, who were harassed, and take you in a class action lawsuit. That's pretty stunning. So which Supreme Court justice in a 5-4 opinion just delivered that gift to corporate America? Answer, Neil Gorsuch. Ooh. Neil Gorsuch. But here's the point. But w would you yeah. hold the seat? Well, so... <laughs> So the question is who you put up, because that's how I see it. I don't see it as starting out saying, I don't care who you put up, I'm holding the seat. That was what Mitch McConnell did. Right. He said, you send me anybody. If it comes from Barack Obama, there's a two-letter answer, and the answer's no. I think that's wrong. But I do think you send a Neil Gorsuch to us, and the answer is no. We do hearings, we do it substantively, the answer would be no. Um.